Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on S3 and Jingle Bells and Mistletoes, all those fun things. And it's that time of the year where we are gearing up to make merry memories around the Christmas tree. And here to show us how to decorate our own Christmas trees is stylist and blogger Megan Pedro. She's in studio. Megan, it's so great to see you. Thank you so much. And I love that we are now talking all things festive. Oh, yes, we are. And I think the big question is, I was ready to put up a tree on the 1st of November. When, <laughs> I think, is the big question. Is the right time to start bringing in that Christmas decorations into your home? I think, oh, is there a right time? I think as soon as the festivities hit you, that is the, you know, the, the time to do it. I normally have the rule of the 1st of December, just so that I really feel in the festive mood the whole entire month. I just feel like, you know, it takes effort to put up a tree. All these tea, different baubles and decorations that goes on, you need to have it on for longer than just 25 days. So that's why I want to always try to put up the tree in November. Bit. Yes. And I mean, really it kind of comes it. down the 3rd of January. Just, you know, you're going into <laughs> the new year. <laughs> Definitely. Now, talk to me. Decorations available at Woolworths to make our trees look Beautiful. Oh, the product developers have spent, remember, 11 months of the year perfecting what your tree is going to look like. So these are from overseas trains to what we're absolutely loving. And there's a big shift in nostalgia. Mm -hmm. And red is one of the most nostalgic Christmas colours, I think, that there is. And I love that because, I mean, in South Africa, in fact, in the Southern Hemisphere, we don't experience Christmas the way the Northern Hemisphere does with snow and all of that. So it's nice to bring in the warmer tones. Let's go through some of these items. Yes, yeah, sure. So especially tips in, with your Christmas tree. I remember it's been in a box for 11 months, so I would bring it out and fluff out those branches. Fluff really, really out. make them stand out, um, push each one of them up. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And then with your lighting, Please don't put your bubbles on and then your lights. Oh, I do that all the time. Really? So you're supposed to put the lights on first? Yes, it's just so much easier to kind of string the lights around. That's always because the then last you, thing. Because all your bubbles just go on the edge and on the tips. So it's just so much better and easier to kind of add that afterwards as well. Okay. And then I think a theme is quite important when, you, when you're decorating a tree. So we've gone really... Beautiful, you know, I love neutrals. So I think gold and silvers will live in your Christmas collection for years to come. And then you can add beautiful colors. So we've gone with red this year. Okay, mm -hmm. now add, let's talk about these cute little things that I'm seeing in front of me. Look at these different baubles. The teardrop. The teardrop. It is so, so stunning. And along with that as well in a different pack, you get the oval. The so I think oval. these two just match so beautifully together. And it adds a bit of drama to your Christmas tree. Yes, and as you can see, clustering your baubles is quite a beautiful idea as well. Because if you're not doing tinsel, you can see there's no tinsel on our mm. tree today. I have created a silver and gold, almost like a wreath that goes across, oh. so that it really is like a focal point, instead of it all kind of being all over, over the, the tree. place. Mm -hmm. I think that's the thing is like when you start and you want it to look like it looks in the stores, you want it to look like it looks in the magazines. Mm -hmm. Where do you start in terms of do you start with the big ones? Do you start with the small ones? Or is it just a case of go for it and it will look great? I think, well, it, uh, hmm. How do you decorate your tree? I mean, as a stylist, I definitely have <laughs> Pinterest boards before the tree even goes up. And I've you know, really explore the Woolworths um, homeware section. So the beautiful faux flowers that they have, the orchids, I mm. add that to my tree. Oh. I add Christmas crackers to my tree. I've seen people add beautiful ribbons and yes, make little, yes. little bows. You can completely do that. And these now let's are the talk, new felt. They let's the talk felt about ornaments. these felt range, because we have Papa Christmas over here. <laughs> we, we have, have Merry Christmas. <laughs> of course, our fur kids are part of the family. Of course. So we have the little doggo with a candy cane in his mouth and he's also wearing a little <laughs> Christmas hat. I'm still waiting for them to bring out black cats. Oh yes, yes, yes. They totally <laughs> should. You can't forget them. And then of course, I think what is more Christmas than a Christmas stocking? And Aww. don't worry if you do not have a fireplace. I think it's so easy to pop this around on your kids' doors, behind your front door. It's always nice to just kind of leave a surprise somewhere. And, and add a little stocking filler in there. And you, mm -hmm. There are so many great options for that. Megan, I'm loving what I'm seeing, including our friends over here. Let's, let's, are they also part of the Woolies range? Yes, they are. They are brand new and they are your sequin, one-of-a-kind um, Santas. So they actually, you can see, this is the one one size, but they extend. Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so it's one that it's can one. go tall, so Up we can make down. this one tall if we want yes, to. Should I mess with it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 
I think it's great to add surprises, especially for the kids all the way around. Oh my gosh, this will be so entertaining and you can really just play around with the height. How cute is this? It's a new way to do Elf on a Shelf, I think. To yeah. just kind of have the sequin centers. Yeah. So. Look how cute that is. <laughs> oh, well, Megan, I'm loving all these Christmas decorations and ideas that you've brought to the table because Christmas really is a memorable time to have some fun with your friends and family. Now, you can shop Christmas decorations and more at Woolworths. It's currently in store online and on the Woolies app. Yay! <laughs>